Yesterday was a fine day. Didn't be. Finally didn't run from combat, and by golly, when he doesn't run, he is a dead eye. <laughs> no kidding. To think I was worried about sending him along with that mission. He was just cannon fodder. But, uh,. Man, he turned one of those albatrosses into mincemeat, though that boy was a terrible pile on the other end. Still, it takes a steady hand to knock one down. Looks like it's more, uh, balloon busting. Bombing raid in the morning, or in the evening. We'll go ahead and do it in the morning. We'll do the balloon busting in the evening. Where's this busting at? C-section. Oops. Um, so that we can sneak in real low. Not have to deal with the Archie or anything. And uh, we'll send Crawley along again. Just because that's kind of hilarious to me. And if he dies doing that, he'll die doing what he loves. Shooting down every goddamn balloon in the Kaiser's army. Um, another defensive line patrol. We'll just send up a couple guys today. Take it easy. Because uh, the rest of the guys will be on a bombing raid. Welcome, friends and everyone. I'll take up uh, Mod, Deus, Cynic. In the bombing raid, we'll bring up these two guys. Jenks needs Massey to keep him alive, but Coda might actually keep Massey alive. And I'm kind of all about this whole hoarding assets thing right now. And if Jenks and Mass, and if Jenks and Jenks might get Massey shot down, and Howes might get Coda shot down. But Jenks and Howes. Oh, I feel weird about that. Jenks ain't even all the way up to speed yet. <laughs> well, let's hope it turns out all right. Spawning raid, where is it? Kinda deep. Hmm. Well, to get calling wouldn't be some good flight time. I mean, hell, B's been flying quite a bit now. He's a decent leader when he hangs around, and he has been for a while. I'm gonna keep Crawley tied up. Not so much because I'm worried about him, but because I don't want to put two people on the defensive patrol. And it's more so, honestly, just to show Mod around at this point. Get, uh, Deus a little more flying time. Maybe Cynic will shoot something down. Who knows? And also, because I really just enjoy Crawley on balloon busting raids. And I'd be really annoyed if RNG just slaps him. And I don't want to bring him on the bombing run, because that's going to be a. That's going to be a low altitude. Shit fest. Alrighty, let's get it on. All the way back there. Kick those trucks, let's go.
Everyone's circling up. And at about 30 minutes in, Cynic begins to head out. New ducklings in tow. and Davis all begin to climb. Again, a little bit extra altitude to, uh... The bombers will gain a little bit extra altitude, just get that extra navigation that comes in from looking through patchy clouds and the ground. Baron spotted 17, he's got an advantage on them. Baron sits at the top, picks on Maud. Cynic and Deus both elect to go up to the Albatross. But the Baron goes first. He peppers Maud, but Maud's not phased. A lack of skill, sure, but no lack of bravery. He evades the next burst. He weaves and side slips, but Baron sticks around. His gun jams and he misses on that one. He can't shake him. Baron hits him again. Flames come out. The machine explodes. There's no way he made that. Deus and Cynic need to kill this albatross to level the field. Deus at least drives him off. And Cynic comes in with a short burst from the side. Odd. Lots of short bursts firing. The albatross just wants to get away. There's gotta be a bug in here somewhere. Does that. Yeah, because I should be able to fire a longer burst there, but uh, whatever. Let's hang around, let's see if we can't get this guy. Damn. Varen picks on Deus. Cynic holds. He gets off a quick snapshot as they swing towards each other. Climbs and comes back around, down on him. Ah. The Red Baron hops back in on Deus. <laughs> Deus wants out. He's got no bullets left. He made like hell. Senate gets into a tussle with Von Richtop. I think again. Plunges downwards, disappears beneath the clouds. We'll see if Senate makes it again. was supposed to be an easy mission has turned into a nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare which sole survivor could be Deus. 
and it's almost certain Maud is dead. The Red Baron may have just killed two pilots. Damn greedy, that's what it was. Damn greedy. All you gotta do is fly north. Southeast, really. 14 planes dropping up from 17. One for each unfortunate soul. As he gets shot, misses. Code is shaken up and he wants out of this fight. Massey tracks him and returns fire, hits him. The Halbert's dad wants out as well. B is getting chased around by a German. He gets hit. The machine starts handling funny. The German kicks over and follows the strict plane. Hits it again. it in hard, it comes in from the rear quarter, misses, just barely. The Hun's coming in on Collingwood, he misses. Collingwood and the German, jostling for position. The German's gun jams at, the opportun at an opportune motor projects. Manages to survive for just a little while longer. Jerry comes in, streaks past the front. House tracks him. Fires a burst, but it misses. He comes in again from the front, screams past. House with the gun. Fires. No chance. Clouds separate the machines. B decides he's heading home. They start a descent on towards the target. Dive to um, 5,000, and then they'll dive all the way to 1. Tapering their descent so as not to uh, arrive at the 2,000 foot kill zone. I'll ignore the target for now. Makes it. The plane's diving towards the target. Jenks holds it steady. House tries to drop a bomb. God knows if they'll hit anything. They hit an outpost. I mean, uh, an outhouse. Massey leans over the side of Coda's plane and drops a bomb. It's dead on target. It's a bunch of Jerry's. They hold position. Howes chucks a bomb off the side. It hits something. A couple Jerry's get injured. Massey chucks the bomb. Hits a field. He kills some corn. Or something. He kills something. Probably some plants. We'll drop two bombs to try and speed this up a bit. Yep. Uh, the same thing. Just 
one at a time. See, that would have done nothing. Jerry's all wake up after having had the crap bombed out of them to realize that they're being bombed by three aircraft. They're going to unload the last of their ordnance. Shit, something. A couple Jerry's. Massey chucks his last bomb overboard. And a couple more Germans get hit. Altogether, moderate to uh, severely out of it. They get lucky, and the immediate danger zone of 3,000 feet. The Archie doesn't open up, and they're able to pull up to 5,000 feet. It's about the worst of it. Run for the lines at 5,000. Way below the clouds, but desperate to get away from the enemy. No desire to hang around where they're obviously not wanted for any longer than absolutely necessary. climb away into their own lines. Dive back down on top of the clouds. They dive in, spot an airfield, and settle into land in the snow, just as the snow comes in. Collingwood, Jenks, and Coda all make it back with a neat landing. Let's see if anyone else had a neat landing. B had B landed the aircraft and survived. Mod's plane burned the whole way down. Cynic was shot down, but survived yet another crash. Good lord, man. And Deus brought his plane down in tatters at a frontal airfield. They engaged the Red Baron and a German scout. They shot up the German scout, the Red Baron shot up everyone else. Literally everyone else. God, that guy is good. But all in all, not bad for most people getting shot down. I mean, B is wounded, but... I don't know, let's see who's available. Oh god, that's a lot of people who don't have aircraft. Well, Cynic and Deus will be around by tomorrow. Jesus. Who is available to go balloon busting? Crowley. Uh, Crowley. Collingwood. We can bring Jenks. Ah, burn all our gas. Alright, Crowley gets the rockets. Collingwood, you can carry some fucking him, I guess. Eh, screw it. Yeah, you probably won't hit anything anyway. If you do, it'll get you some nice firing skill. Let's go.
And back to good old zone C. Everyone loves zone C because only good things happen there. They spot Germans at the exact same altitude trying to do the exact same thing they're doing. Crowley aims for the Albatross, that's slightly above Collingwood. We'll get taken by the uh, Albertstad. Crowley aims to put this guy out of the fight early on. Fires a long burst, but no connection. I'm gonna try and pull it back in again and... Up and down. No joy. Come on, connect, put him down. Long burst from the side does no damage. No really damage spook him. The Hun actually manages to kick around and puts in another counterattack on Crowley. Doesn't connect. I wonder if it's got something to do with the rockets. Halberstadt dives in on Collingwood. The clouds break up the fight. They dive in, looking for balloons. <laughs> but only find Archie. I rate Jerry's. Run the gauntlet. And continue running it. Buy a balloon. Ready to go in and get stuck in with him. Honestly, it might be safer traveling closer to the ground, considering how the ground breaks up fights too, like clouds. Oh, we're all getting. Crawlingwood dives in, fires a medium burst but doesn't hit it, Crowley holds it in and heads straight for it, shoots a rocket, misses. That's a first. Jerry's gunners open up with a rat hat tat. Being outmaneuvered by a balloon. No, they'll make another attack on it. Crowley holds the stick down. Long burst, he fires his rockets. They miss again. Something is just not right in the air for him today. Collingwood fires off a short burst. His balloonist make it away. I think this balloon has gotten away from them. Oh, 
Well, there's a first time for everything. You can't hit them all. Let's see if they can. At 250 feet from freedom, Crowley swings in and fires one more set of rockets. He hits it. No escape for those Jerry's. Climb back up to altitude. Crowley, vindicated. Continues on. <laughs> We'll honestly probably just keep shooting until we're out of rockets. <laughs> Collingwood fires a long burst, but it makes no connection. Crowley holds the stick down and fires rockets. Misses. Odd. Jerry's cut loose with their machine guns. They elect to ignore the balloon and the rest of the patrol. Hmm. Frankly, because they're more or less out of balloon killing ammunition. Hollywood slaps on a new drum. The flight runs back over the lines. We bump into a couple Germans just north of uh, Bethan, though. The Jerry's start off below. Collingwood takes the Alberts down, and Crowley takes the Albatross. Collingwood powers upwards into his machine, fires a medium burst to kick it off, but it misses. He takes that hide advantage and turns it into an actual advantage. Fires off that medium burst. No connection though. The German faints left and kicks it back hard to the right and spandals it in the front. But he misses. Crowley dives in on his target, powers upwards into him, puts his finger on the trigger and pulls. Hits him. German flips over and crashes. <laughs> That's it for that fight. Albert's dad gets an advantage over Crowley, but not over Collingwood, who's on him like a hawk. Crowley twists and turns away as Collingwood jumps in behind him. Collingwood fires off a short burst and nicks him. The Hun wants out, saying that his friend is dead and he's about to join him, wherever they go. Collingwood comes in again, continuing to pepper the Halpin's dad. Kicks it around, he comes down to the and fires yet another short burst. Never able to get a solid shot, but trying real hard to nick this guy. He comes up in an angle to climb, but he's just out of ammo and can't quite pull it off. Air exchange drums. I'd like to continue on home. A single just a jerk is spotted at 3,000 as they pop out of the snowstorm. Crowley is able to jump on him as he dives, though. Collingwood is able to evade. He lays on the Bowden lever. Lets off a long burst at him. 
The German pilot kicks over to the side though and pulls it back into pulls the stick back into his stomach on a right turn and brings it around. He kicks it hard again, lets fly another burst, and Crowley misses. Crowley yearning for an advantage. Doesn't get it. Both are uh, up to try and evade. I think I'll have them evade and Crowley try and get on this guy. B hops up the track. Crowley now jumps at the Josta. He lets fly a long burst and hits him. The German's pilot, Sheen, begins to wander away like a lame duck and puts in another long burst and it misses. I'd say that's probably enough damage for the day, probably. They come back and land base. That makes 12 for Crowley now. <laughs> Crowley really is a darn good shot and pilot. Those two combined are, are deadly and they're scary. You lost 20 for mission objectives, that's normal. 45 for combat, 20 for other activities, 45 for uh, just in general. I've never seen Crowley miss a balloon before. That's the most startling thing about this mission. Also, Crowley got his fifth airplane kill. Finally shooting something besides a balloon. Calling one's the only one who feels up to it for the Twilight Patrol, but it's decided to skip over it. That does it for the day. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this stuff. Anyway, um, I have been your Squadron Commander Tomato. Thank you for watching. We're in the home stretch. It's only one more week of this, and we're done. The 30th of April, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's the 30th of April. It's all over. And we'll see whether we win or lose. Hopefully we can keep the squadron together long enough. No one dies. We get enough replacement aircraft and in general the whole thing works. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.